Welcome back to Black Renaissance. Up next, please welcome Dexter Davis, CEO of D Street Media Group, a film distribution company with an office in Oakland. Welcome, Dexter. Thank you. Thank you for having me. We're so happy to have you. And just talking to you briefly here, uh, your company is not just a production company, it's also a distribution company, and one of only three in the country. Well, owned by African Americans. Right. There's <laughs> lots of distribu uh, distributors in the country. But yeah, I'm one of the, a handful of African American distributors. Um, and we specialize in foreign language films primarily. Um, so we buy films from all over the world and we program them in theaters in North America. Mm -hmm. And we, I just mentioned that you have opened an office here in Oakland. Talk to, why Oakland? Right. So I recently relocated to, I spend part of my time in New York. That's where our office is, our headquarters. Uh, but my family's in Oakland. Well, my family is from the Bay Area. Okay. I chose Oakland because I wanted to be a part of the diversity of Oakland. Uh, but also, I think uh, in terms of talent, there's so much untapped talent in Oakland and no one's really sort of tapped into that. And I thought, if I'm here, I can use my resources and my know-how to help people who may want to be in the film industry or music industry or what have you, uh, sort of make that leap from Oakland to LA to New York to wherever in the world. Absolutely, Oakland has a very rich artistic history. Um, and uh, just now, we're seeing so many things happening there in the art world, so fantastic to have. Have you, you based there? Thank you. So talk to me about um, building your media empire. I and mean, that's really <laughs> what you've been, you know, laying the groundwork for and doing, you yes. know, over the past decade or so. Yeah, it's a little bit, I think about 12 years we've been at it uh, with D Street. And it just started out with a uh, my first film, which cost $5,000. $5,000 film. A $5,000 film that went on to open the Tribeca Film Festival in 2005. Uh, we sold that film uh, in the U.S. and we sold it around the world. And I was also actually living in Europe at the time when I started this company. So I kind of had a feeling for doing something more international and uh, sort of got bitten by the bug and thought distribution is kind of where I wanted to be also because I wanted to have more control over the product. Right. Um, a lot of times it's difficult when you make a movie uh, to then sell it to a distributor to get it out into the, 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 to the, into the market. So having a production company and a distribution company kind of solve that problem. Absolutely. It's very inspiring to see uh, somebody working sort of on both ends of that. And you have a few projects coming up now that you're excited about, including uh, the release of this incredible documentary that I've heard some buzz about, about Alice Walker. That's coming up in October, right? Yeah, that's really exciting. So we uh, acquired this film, Alice Walker, Beauty and Truth, uh, last year. And um, I think it's the first documentary that Alice has ever participated in, uh, which was directed by a woman named Patiba Parma from uh, the UK. Uh -huh. uh, they're friends, and uh, I think it took some convincing for her to get Alice to do this documentary, but it's beautiful, and as we know, she's one of the most prolific uh, writers in America, particularly in the African-American community, Absolutely. Pulitzer Prize winning author. Uh, but yeah, so we have this uh, five-city tour that we're uh, kicking off in New York at the UN. Okay, uh, wow. So we're doing a big release there. Um, and then we're doing San Francisco, which I think is the third week of the of the tour at the San Francisco Jazz Center, okay. which is a beautiful um, venue to uh, to host such an event. Uh, but yeah, it's a, if you thought you knew Alice Walker, um, watch this documentary and uh, you'll have a new sort of idea about who she is, as a, not only as a writer, but as an activist and as a, a feminist. Um, as a human rights uh, activist. So she's a, an amazing woman. And I think with the passing of Dr. Maya Angelou, uh, this project has taken on even more relevance uh, for me personally, yeah. uh, because they're you know, two very, um, they had a lot of influence in my own life. Uh huh. What can we expect to see you see from you coming up next? I know this is the next thing coming up for you, but you've got a lot of projects. I do have a lot of projects. I'm actually in conversation now with the Apollo Theater uh, to build low cost cinemas in South Africa. Really? So, really, which is fascinating. Re really fun. Um, and I'm also working with, they call her the Oprah Winfrey of Nigeria, to bring, uh, her network is called Ebony Life Television, uh -huh. and to bring that television network to America, so I'm, I'm working on that as well. Uh, but we're doing stuff in music, uh, we're going to launch a new television division in January, which I'm excited about, because uh -huh. that's where I kind of got my feet wet in television, so I want to return back there, but creating programs. Um, and then more distribution, we're doing a film in, in November in, in, uh, in Brazil, which is exciting as well. So it's 
A lot of irons on the fire. Uh, a lot. Good yes. to see. Good to see. We're so happy to have you in the Bay Area and really looking forward to what you bring next. Thank you. Thank you Dexter so much. Dexter Davis, thank you for joining us. For more information about D Street Media Group, go to dstreetmediagroup.com, dstreetmediagroup.com. We'll be right back. Thank you.